What's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? Okay, so I seen this video on Instagram and I decided I wanted to try it out. Now, I it, don't know how to do my makeup like that. So this is going to be new for me and for you. So I'm at my setup, but it's still going to look good. So I'm going to start off with this purpley color right here from my Sephora palette. And um, I am just trying to outline it, you know, the way she did in the video. The only thing is I have a powder and she had some type of like cream. So it was right, way easier for her to draw a clean line. For me, it's not going to look as clean, but, you know, I'm going to follow her template as much as I can. And you know, it's probably not going to come out looking exactly like that video. But I'm going to try and make it work. I'm going to make it do what it do. And it's still going to be cute, okay? Alright, so I am, like I said, just trying to make a shape with that purple color that I pointed out uh, from my Sephora palette. I got that palette years and years and years ago. Um, and I just figured I needed to use some colors that went with my skin tone. So that's why I chose a darker color than what she used in that original video. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and blend that line out uh, going upwards before I go ahead and take this darker shade of purple from the same palette. And I am going to just build that on top and continue to blend out. Now, um, I noticed in the video that I'm trying to copy or that I've been inspired from that again like i said her lines were a lot cleaner and um it didn't look as blended out as mine is going to come out looking but that's okay as long as it comes out cute like i said so <laughs> i'm going to continue just blending that darkish or darker purple above the line And now I'm going to be taking this magenta pinky color and I'm going to go ahead and continue to blend that but on top. I'm trying to create like a gradient of color going from the purple to the lighter pink. Again, it is not what she did in the video but... <laughs> As soon as I do that first line, I already do. This look is not going to come out like the video. So I know I'm just being inspired by it, but I figured this would still be pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and just continue to blend that in until I get it to my liking. Now, you guys let me know if you ever practice in your makeup, uh, get inspired off of looks from Instagram or Twitter. Um, I just think that it's very important to, one, of course, practice, but, of, but two, be kind to yourself. Like, just know, even though it doesn't come out exactly as you wanted it to come out, as long as it comes out cute, you're good and the more you practice the better you get so I figured I might as well practice and show you guys how I kind of mess up and all but still go with it okay all right so it's looking like I'm still blending but it's looking like it's getting to the point it's the type of gradient that I want so I'm gonna go in and now I should have used concealer first just to kind of clean it up before going in with 
this glitter glue and that's what this is I'm using a glitter glue kind of to cut the crease when I shouldn't have I should have used a concealer but oh well like I said mistakes I know not to make the mistake next time but anyways I'm gonna be using that just so that the glittery part that I put on next shows up now I want to apologize in advance I'm sorry you guys for my lighting issues it's like going in and out and I'm just now noticing that but I'm not about to re-record a video <laughs> and I really wanted to post this but uh, in the future I will make sure that my lighting is you know on point because this was irritating me so I'm sorry if this bugs you but anyways I went ahead and took my liquid uh, it's like a sparkly liquid eyeshadow from Glossier so I'm taking that and I am just putting it over the area that I put the glitter glue on um it is just kind of hard to work with so I have a little bit of you know patchy areas so here I'm just going in and I'm covering up those patchy areas I'm not too concerned about it though I just need to make it smooth because I'm going to be putting powder on top of it anyways just to make it stand out more. So I am using my Morphe 9D Painted Desert Palette. And that was in the color... Hold on. Let me check. Ooh. I just realized I threw away all the names for it. So I'm sorry. I don't know what the name is. But it's that shade that I pointed out. And I'm just patting that all over my lid. And now I'm taking off the tape. Now, I don't know if you see, both sides of the eye are not, or my eyes are not even. But that's okay. Again, mistakes are okay. Practice makes perfect. I will figure it out the next time. I just really want you guys to be along my makeup journey. I want you to see, like all the areas that I mess up now and then hopefully like by the end of this year as I continue to practice see how far I come so we can see both see how far I come or we could both see how far I've come at the same time you get me okay so anyways um I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face um I am doing just what I do every single time I do my makeup to be honest I don't use foundation so I am just blending in my concealer and yeah. Okay, next, I am going in with this dark blue shade. I am still somewhat following, following the video uh, that I got from Instagram. So instead of using eyeliner, I'm going to take this dark blue shade and I am going to use it to outline the very edge of my eye over near my lash line or to line out my lash line with. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue to do that and until I get the dark blue to show up, um, you know, to my liking. I definitely feel like I need to go either, I don't know what it's called, but go get that liquid that you can mix the uh, powders in to make them more potent looking or just go get some liquid uh, eyeshadow shades to play with because this was definitely low-key a challenge with just the powders. And also, I just want to make the disclaimer that unfortunately, when I decided to do this look, I did not realize until I started it that I don't have 
any thick eyelashes with me I ran out so this look when it's done unfortunately I'm not gonna have lashes to pull it together because I feel like that's what pulls together any eye look no matter what you're doing is some bomb ass lashes but since I don't have any I'm just rocking the natural mascara and yes I find that to be natural okay so now you're gonna see me going on to my bottom lash line and I am just taking those same three shades that I used to uh, smoke that out so I'm starting with the first purple that I use and then I'll use that second darker purple and then I'll use that lighter shade magenta Okay, and lastly, I am just taking that same shade that I put on my lid and adding it to the corners as well as off camera. I added it to my brow bone underneath my eyebrows. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is the finished look. Now, it does not look like the video that I posted or put in the beginning of the video, but I feel like this is really cute. It's still cute. It still came together. I still feel like I could go out with this and rock it. Um, it's certainly not perfect, you know, but we'll get there. But I'm really proud of myself, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about it and if you guys have any problems with trying to get some cute looks on your eyes. Uh, yeah, you know, get into it. I was certainly feeling myself. But, um... <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it so much. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Love ya. Bye.